guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video because we are going to talk about a very special palette. And this is Pat McGrath's Celestial Divinity Palette. Let's just start with the fact that I don't own any Pat McGrath makeup or any of her palettes. Um, she's had so many palettes in the past and I kind of see them on, you know, at Sephora, I see a lot of YouTubers trying them out and the price tag just never interests me. I mean, a Pat McGrath palette, a 10 pan, 10 color palette is usually $125 and I just cannot justify buying makeup that's worth $125. So when Pat McGrath came out with this 2020 Christmas collection, Celestial Divinity Mega Mothership Palette, I immediately thought this is it. This is the palette that's calling me. Well, there are a couple reasons why I decided to buy this palette. First of all, it's a mega palette. Second of all, it's only, it's not only, but it's $78 and I feel like yeah, I think I can shoulder that kind of palette, especially, you know, when you're buying something, you have to look at the brand and the quality. Pat McGrath has a high price point for a reason. It's not a 10 pan palette, it's actually 18, so 18 different colors, and all of the colors seem to fit my color scheme, like everything that I've ever wanted in a palette is there. Each pan size in this palette is 1.1 grams, when normally in the 10 pan palette, it's actually around two grams per color or per pan. You're getting less amount of eyeshadow in weight per pan, but you're getting more eyeshadow colors in one. So it kind of makes up for that. For me personally, I feel like that's worth it because I never really finish a whole entire eyeshadow pan. Having less um, grams per pan, I feel like makes it more economically affordable for everybody. It's $78, almost half the price of a regular 10 pan Pat McGrath palette. So it's way cheaper. I'll explain it all in the description below if you wanna know more of the specifics. The only complaint that I have about it is the fact that it has only three matte shades. And I'll show you those three matte shades here in a moment. It has a good variety of colors, matte, metallic, glitter, shimmers, Everything that you could ask for is in this palette. It's important to note that not all shades are brand new. In fact, 12 of those shades have been released before last year in that limited edition Star Wars palette. Basically six came from the Galaxy Dark palette and another six came from the Galactic Gold palette. Now, a lot of people did not get the Star Wars limited edition palettes from last year. And I think if you didn't get that, you'd be so excited and happy that you're getting it here in the Celestial Divinity palette. Um, but if you are a collector of Pat McGrath, then you might be thinking, these are repeats. I don't really need these palettes. So something to think about, there's only six brand new shades. So let's go ahead and get started. I mean, this is too much talking. You guys would just wanna see this palette. First of all, it came in this black packaging, all black on black packaging, black tissue paper, black box, and then this bubble envelope is also black. To me, I feel like, wow, you know, something special is in this box. You know, everything is black. It's very um, like classy or, um, I don't know the word for it. This is the packaging, guys, so pretty. You open it up like so. And taking out the palette. Very nice cardboard packaging, like very thick and sturdy. And when you open it up, the first thing that I really like, let me cover the mirror real quick. I'm so afraid I'm gonna nick all the eyeshadows. This is what it looks like, guys. Oh, so pretty. I mean, it was pretty online. It's even prettier in person. Now, I love the detail that it has this little ribbon that keeps the mirror and the bottom part of the eyeshadow together. That way the mirror doesn't like fall all the way back 
so you can essentially you know do your makeup and it's standing see so I'm not holding on to the back, but it's standing like so. These two columns are from the Dark Galaxy palette. And then these other two columns right here are actually from the Galactic Gold Star Wars palette. So these are the repeats right here, these 12 shades. And then you have these six or two columns right in the middle that are actually brand new, never released before shades. So I'm excited for that. For someone who doesn't own a single Pat McGrath palette, I feel like I have the best of both wor worlds. I mean, limited edition Star Wars palette, I would have definitely gone for that. And then you have six new shades, which I'm excited to touch and swatch for you guys. By the way, I have everything Pat McGrath on my face today. The only thing I own from Pat McGrath right now are her lipsticks, like one red, bright red lipstick. I don't know that the lips kind of go with the eye look right now, but I just thought I would keep it all Pat McGrath. Stay tuned because at the end of this video, I will show you a tutorial of the eyeshadow look that I have on today and the colors that I used in this palette. I'm gonna swatch from the top row, left to right, middle row, left to right, bottom row, left to right. These are so <gasps> pigmented. Mm. Are you guys seeing this? Oh my gosh, I'm ruining swatching for Pat McGrath. I need to learn how to swatch. You guys can't see nothing. Let's start over. So. We have Saturnalia. Wow. Bronze Nebula. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm doing any justice to this eyeshadow palette. The next one is a matte. One of four, no, one of three mattes. The Major Mahogany. And lunar champagne Ooh, that is so bright and pretty violet void oh my gosh guys and gold standard right here gold standard what <laughs> the eyeshadows are so pigmented but they're not like wet and creamy like, you know, like ColourPop, for example. You know how sometimes some eyeshadows are so wet and creamy? Um, and that's what makes them pigmented because they're normally wet. This one is pressed so nicely. It's dry, there's no fallout, it's not dusty on the pan when I grab the eyeshadow. Like, look. Let me cover up my mirror again. You can't see any fallout on the first row. And I've swatched the entire first row. So that's amazing. It feels dry, but so pigmented. What is that about? That I've never seen. And it's not like super dry, like MAC eyeshadows. So not wet, not dusty, no fallout. Wow. Okay, let's swatch the second row. I wish you guys could feel the excitement that I'm feeling. Like my heart is racing. It's like, what is this magical eyeshadow? It's that good. Right now, just first row, I feel like it's worth the price. My $78 is worth it. All right, let's swatch the second row. Venomous Void. Um, Odyssey. that has like a dual chrome shift to it. Fuchsia Shock. I wish I used this one on my eyes today. Megabyte. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is so pretty. Just to let you know, I don't know if it's just me being super rough with the eyeshadow, but the, the Megabyte eyeshadow has a lot more fallout than usual. So you can see it broke up a little bit more than usual. So that's interesting but I'm not complaining because look at that pigment. Bronze. Oh, so pretty. And then we have Electron. Guys, all the colors are so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to remove this on my arms. I want this like permanently tattooed on me. Like, 
<laughs> it's so pretty! Let's go with the bottom row. The first color on the bottom is Cosmic. This one looks like it's a dual chrome. Smoked Amethyst. Wow, look at that, Smoked Amethyst. It's like a very, very deep purple. Dragonfly is another dual chrome. A warm gold with a blue shift to it. Venusian Orchid is a matte, matte one. Galactic Gold Corruption. Oh, oh, this is another duochrome and it's described as fiery bronze shade. It's like that penny, but 10 times better. <laughs> the bottom row is pretty. I think this is the star of the show this amethyst it is so pretty i would love to have that over my all over my lid and it's a great way to kind of showcase a dark color without being a black color i think corruption is my other favorite it looks like a bronze but it has a very pink orange shift to it it's so pretty in case you guys want to see the matte shades there's only three matte shades one is the major mahogany let's do my other arm and the second one is venomous void pink one right there and then the lighter pink the mid-tone pink is venusian Air orchid and this is actually one of the newer shades in the palette i have to say it's not as pigmented as all the other eyeshadows i think this is like the weakest one in the bunch but all the shimmers the glitters you know the cream eyeshadows they're all so pretty so pigmented no problem at all i would have gone for a more um lighter brow bone highlight maybe one more matte shade would complete this palette but that's just me being picky you know right off the bat i'm already a hundred percent satisfied with this palette definitely worth it this video is going to be part one of two maybe part one of three pat mcgrath series because hello i paid seven eight dollars for it i'm going to dedicate a couple of videos on this palette for sure and do some other looks and definitely i want to research more about pat mcgrath about the palettes, are they vegan, are they cruelty free, the formula behind it. So that's gonna be coming up in the next video, but today is just first impression. If you wanna know how I got this look, it's definitely very bold and keep on watching. enjoyed this video again this is part one of two or three videos that will be dedicated to pat mcgrath's celestial divinity palette definitely stay tuned for other looks more reviews you know kind of what do i think about the palette after using it more and more 
throughout the next couple of weeks. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So we are at 500 subscribers, yay! And my giveaway is coming very, very soon, guys. I promise you. I promise you it's coming. I just haven't had a chance to film it yet and you know mama pat arrived in the mail and she had to come first so <laughs> that is it guys i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye